Hello everyone, in this quick video I will show you how to fix Valorant freezing problem in Windows 11. So please follow the steps with me and let's jump into it. Okay, we need to open up settings. So to do that, just right click on Windows start button and select settings. In here, click on display and then scroll down to the bottom of the page and select graphics. On the top, click on this one, change default graphics settings and open it up. Over here, make sure to turn off this option. Once you're done, then close this one and open up your command prompt. To do that, just open up the search bar and type in there CMD. And make sure to run your command prompt as administrator. Type this command in the command prompt SFC space forward slash scan now and then press enter. If there are any bugs on your computer, this command will repair it. This process might take a bit of time, so once it's completed, then you can just close this one and open up run by pressing Windows key and R. Then type this command in there and press OK. OK, this is going to perform Windows memory test, so you need to select the top option, which is restart now and check for problems recommended. Make sure to save any works you have on your computer. And the next solution is open up your search bar and type in there view advanced system settings and open it up. On the top select advanced tab then next click on settings. In here make sure to select this option adjust for best performance and then click on apply and ok. The next solution is to set the priority for Valorant so to do that open up Valorant and then go to task manager. On your keyboard press ctrl shift and escape to open up task manager. In here click on details and then look for Valorant once you find Valorant right click on it and select set priority then click on real time you will get this message do you want to change your priority just click on change priority and once you're done then click on this option start up apps over here you can disable any unnecessary programs on windows startup so go through them and see which one you don't want it to be enabled and the one you want to disable just right click on it and select disable and once you're done in here then restart your device after you restarted your device and if you're still having an issue then you need to check to see all your games and your drivers and also your windows is all up to date. So open up the settings to see if there is any windows updates. So click on windows update at the bottom in here. So if there was any update just try to install it and once it's completed you can also check to see if your Valorant or games that you're playing requires any update. And the next method is to check to see if your graphic card is up to date. So to do that right click on windows start button. And from here, select Device Manager. So once you open up the Device Manager, then look for Display Adapters. Double click on it and expand it. Underneath, you should see your graphic card driver. So if you have two, then you need to update both of them. In my case, I have one. So what we need to do is just right click on it and select Update Driver. So once you open up the Device Manager, then look for Display Adapters. Double click on it and expand it. Underneath, you should see your graphic card driver. So if you have two, then you need to update both of them. In my case, I have one. So what we need to do is just right click on it and select update driver. And choose this option, search automatically for drivers. If you also get this message, then your graphic card is up to date. And if it's not, then automatically we look for any updates that is available for your graphic card driver. And that's all. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider supporting me and subscribing for more videos. Thanks for watching.